see going on in this window is actually the um, the evaporation. The steam is in this tank down here. The sap is in the tank down here. But then it comes up and there's sap also up above here. That's cooler. So with that sap being cooler, the steam hits the bottom of that tank and it condenses and that's what's dripping back off here. And that dripping gets collected and actually runs out right here. That's actually how fast we are evaporating off the water coming out of the cooker. So that's been turned to steam, then turned back to water, and runs off. This little uh, cup right here is actually holds a, a defoamer product because when it starts cooking, the sap is boiling so much that it kind of creates like soap suds. It looks like soap suds in there. So this is a vegetable oil type product that's used as a defoamer and, um, and it drips into the sap, supposed to be set at dripping about one drip every minute. And then that keeps the foam down. If you don't take the foam down, the foam itself will work as an insulator and inhibit the um, the evaporation process. So you want you want to you don't want any foam in there. You want to be able to um, to have just the pure water or sap boiling without any foam or any bubbling on the or the foam. What we're going to look at is the um, the draw off the automatic draw off unit. The red temperature is actually hooked to a temperature probe down in the syrup down here, and that tells us how hot it is inside the pan. The green temperature is what tells us the draw off point. When it hits 219.3, that's when it's pure maple syrup. And this little box then sends a signal over to the valve here, which opens and it lets the syrup draw off into the pan. So what we're doing right now is we're just waiting for this uh, syrup in here to get to 219.3 and then it will draw off. Once it drops two tenths of a degree, then the valve shuts and then waits until it boils off enough water that the temperature rises that two tenths of a degree and then it opens the valve again and lets more syrup draw off. So it begins to cycle automatically as, we, as it gets closer. So that's what we're waiting for right now. That's pure maple syrup. Mixing my brew. <laughs> what we added in here was was some filter aid. I guess the technical name is diatomaceous earth. And um, what it does is it helps in the filtering process actually so that we can run more stuff through the filter before it gets plugged. And um, so we're just trying to mix that in really good so that it's all dispersed in the syrup and all of that will get filtered out after uh, or as it goes through the filter press here. 